Hello everyone, it's Denise. Welcome back. Sorry for the lack of videos here lately. Um, my husband had to upgrade our computer and I've been working on this build for a build challenge, which I'll explain in a minute. And um, so yeah, I've just been caught up doing a lot of stuff. So, but I have some builds on backup that I've been working on and what was it yesterday they released the um, donut mod from for creation club which I've just been so excited about so anyways this is a build challenge um, from cordless VII's discord server uh, it was to rebirth and renew Taffington boathouse and I used mods, of course. And um, so, yeah, there's a little voting poll that I'll put in the link in the description. I'll put a link to all my mods, of course, as I usually do. And then, of course, whoever I mentioned in the video will also be linked in the description. So, this is just a little place I built over here. It's like a swimming area. And then here's the little outhouse. And. It's a cute little outhouse. I, I like it. It's nothing fancy, obviously, as outhouses are not supposed to be fancy. <laughs> and I like this little barrel swing I made. And I just glitched one of those setting mats on there. I think it's from the USO mod. And so she sits up there and she um, she's a scavenger, but it just looks like she's taken in the scenery and she'll jump off there every once in a while and take a swim you know or maybe she's fishing sometimes and speaking of fish I added some fish here into the water that is from the G2M mod and um, it's funny because <laughs> I love that mod and I have never used the actual fish farm I've just used the actual fish so I've got a giddy up buttercup there floating and then I've got another character over here floating in an inner tube so I wanted it to look like you know there were some characters out here enjoying the water and they're swimming <laughs> I was gonna put a lifeguard post up but I thought nah so there's some more shots of the fishies they're so cute and so I, I really loved this build. And of course it had crashes and lag and all that and everything, which you'll see later on. Um, but I repaired the entire house using the Snappy House Kit by Robotin. And I still haven't figured out how some of the pieces snap on that mod yet. So for me, this was really difficult to repair this house like this. There's dog meat with his little mustache. Oh, you're so cute. And, um, so yeah, it was kind of hard for me. There's their milk box outside the house, even if no one really delivers milk. Now, this guy right here is a carpet salesman. He sells rugs, mats, carpets, um, cloth. That's his computer system to stay connected with the other provisioners and settlements. And my friend Shell wanted me to build this carpet salesman here, so I did. He's got a few different baskets and whatnot and suitcases um, to sell as well. Time's not much, but it's something. Made some um, funky little plants here in the tires. And I know a lot of people that have done that and... Um, Gosh, if I named everyone that I've seen do that, I'd probably have a description list of a bazillion people. <laughs> I've got a little place here to jump off the boat and you know what I call have some day? coffee. And One that ends without an empty stomach. Uh, now this guy here, he just runs out and, and picks up people that need a place to stay, basically, or need help. And then he brings them back to Taffington. So this is not like a boat that would be carrying a bunch of supplies and whatnot. Yes. So I made a 
an observation point here. It's like a bird watching station. And I brought back our shoe shiner guy. Since everyone loved him so much at Abernathy Farm. And so when you get off the boat, you know, you can kind of get pampered a little bit and make yourself feel better if you've been running away from ghouls or super mutants or whatever. And, um, so yeah, and then there's a little guy over here that will take your picture as well if you want your picture taken. And that lady in the pink dress is supposed to be standing there posing, but since this stuff right here where I'm standing pretty much right now is a little bit outside of the, bo the border, I think that's probably why she won't go over there. So, so here's just a place where they can get their fish and whatnot, and it's right next to the butcher, so that made sense to me. And so, here we go with the Commonwealth Pizza mod again. I love the pizza, so they've all got pizza set up on their tables and little flowers, and I just kind of glitched those little umbrellas in the middle of the tables. There's Dog Meat's house. It's got tons of dog food. And, uh, so yeah, on the outside tour of the house, it doesn't get too trouble, I hope. glitchy or whatever. It's when we go on the inside of the house that you're going to see a lot of blips from where um, my husband had to hook together several clips um, to kind of make it smooth. I guess it's not so bad, but um, I guess it felt a lot worse because I was the one doing it. <laughs> so... Anyways, they've got an ice machine over here and some color machines and whatnot. It looks like this is a part where it was going to freeze up, but then it didn't. <laughs> so, made my famous little window boxes there for um, the flowers and whatnot. So, there was a whole bunch more I could have done here, but like I said, there's limitations to everything. Um, this was another request, the reading area by my friend Shell. He wanted a reading area. He's a author in real life, so he always likes it when I put in reading areas for him in my builds. This is kind of like a little terrar indoor terrarium or greenhouse. Uh, the blood leaves are an idea from my friend Sushi Cat, and I just took it a little bit further and put a black blood leaf on there and a fever blossom. I'll link her channel in the description. I got a little under the staircase closet there. A nice little entertainment system and I put a little cat perch there by the window. And then going in the kitchen, like I said, there was a lot more I could have done in here, but it just wouldn't let me. And um, so they've got the basics at least set up in here. And, uh, you know, I just did the best I could with it freezing up every two seconds then after a while it more stuff you add the worse it gets but anyways I try not to I try not to dwell too much on that because at least I was able to record a video um, so yeah I think this is the part where we go upstairs um, it was easier to just do a voiceover so that's why I'm doing one I really like this bedroom it's kind of a gray black and white themed bedroom Put all little decorations everywhere some high-heeled boots and the chessboard on the wall there's a little window seat couldn't get rid of the blood stains on the bed unfortunately <laughs> So I made a custom made lamp that's made out of a hug cap and pink pool balls. <laughs> so as you can see I'm kind of going a little bit fast through these indoor areas inside the house because of the lag and the freezing and everything. I'm just so I hope the pans aren't too terrible. I made my own ironing board over there for them to iron on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the ironing board. Um, and then I made this cute little laundry area, which I just adore. And here is 
the bathroom. They've got some bathrooms there and some long johns and a stuffed alien. <clears throat> so, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without it freezing up on us. <laughs> As you can see, it almost froze up there. So I'm like dashing for the door. I'm like, run! So <laughs> here's the little workshop. I kind of blew up some tools and put them up on the wall to tell people, hey, this is the workshop. Like they didn't already know or something, but... It was fun to do. Some little gnomes there guarding some extra junk. And we have no idea why. But that's how my builds go. We just have stuff that makes no sense <laughs> going on. And so here's the Whittle Workshop. Got uh, the colorful Buttercup Horse armor. And then I downloaded a mod called 50 Shades of Duct Tape. They've got like all kinds of colors of duct tape and then some that glow in the dark. And so I threw those up there. And um, I couldn't delete the handle of that ladder. So all that junk is there to cover that up. And there's a random toilet up on top of the shelf and a lot of people tease me about that like why is a toilet up there Denise I'm like I don't know I mean it's just there <laughs> so you get your weapons workbench and your chemistry and your paint mixer and your explosives and all that good stuff and a little place where they can work out nice right? took one of the car seats and made a chair a seat out of it a chair whatever and then they've got these three little cots over here with their pillows and backpacks and all that so the guys that work out here have a little place to crash when they want like if they're dirty or something they don't want to go back in the nice house and dirty everything up so they just crash out here so yeah um, I apologize for my stuffiness. My allergies are acting up. Now, what are you doing over here, lady? There, that's the pizza lady. Now she's over here following me. You stalker. So, <laughs> um, anyways, here is the little extra merchant people. Oh, and I got my um, Securitron dude out here. Looks like he's got a hitch in his giddy up. You're kind of crooked there, dude. So on this side is the clothing lady and then on the other side is the general trader and of course I built it to try to match the house pieces so it looks very cute I think so we've got some people that sit on the bench and drink and read newspapers and hang out we've got all kinds of clothes and shoes Backpacks, more backpacks. And then all kinds of hats and sunglasses. I took two armor racks and you shrunk them I down. So like little <laughs> miniature armor racks. I thought that was cute. Yeah. So we've got just a variety of hats and ooh, I put a little strawberry ice cream there. Maybe someone decided they couldn't finish eating it. There's a guard. I made him sit there. And I love these little blinds. They came from a mod by Chucky Farley. Peekaboo! <laughs> Anyways, I love those things. They're pretty fun to mess around with. And so over on this side is the general trader and he's just got all kinds of stuff he's got guitars which 
that come those guitars come from a mod by my friend Konata and um, he does really great mods they're so vibrant and beautiful that's where some of the bright brightly colored outfits have come from oh my discord was still on everyone's beeping at me so yeah there's all the decoration y'all know how I decorate it has to be all prim and proper most of the time <laughs> and um, so yeah and then I've got him dressed in some Movember clothing from a mod by Eleonora there he's got his blinds there too when they close up shop they just close their blinds freak a boo so yeah um, this is kind of a, a different kind of tour than I normally do so I do apologize for the um, abnormalities in this uh, video but maybe someone will get a laugh out of it. You never know. So there's where they sleep. It's kind of crude or, or generic, but there, there you have it. And then I do believe I do a short little night tour just to let y'all see what it looks like at night. I gotta come over here and make it nighttime with the cheat terminal. There we go. So yeah, it's, um, I think I made it about 8 o'clock at night or something like that. It looks lighter than that, but I know I didn't go before 8 p.m. Uh, so there's our lady. She looks like she's fixing to go for a dip. She's going to jump off the barrel swing and um, have herself a dandy old time out there with a late night swim. And so you can see just, there's no electricity hooked up here. All those lights are from the Snappy House Kit mod. So I don't have any generators hooked up here, no wires, no conduits, no nothing. So uh, yeah, that's one thing I love about that mod is those lights don't require any electricity to work. So you can see how well those lights give off, you know, different color, like white and yellow ambiance from the lighting. Um, and they're pretty bright. They're not too, they're kind of in the middle, not too bright, not too dim. And so, I really like how it looks at night. I think it looks really cute. Like I said, I really loved doing this build. It was, it's been really fun, and um, even though I'm not gonna win the bin, the build challenge, which is fine, I just did this for fun. Um, they're gonna be holding challenges every month, so everyone has a chance to participate. If you're on Discord or you want to sign up for Discord, you can go in there and do so. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, have all the links to where you can vote for the challenge that ends tomorrow and then also where you can you know when you click on the link it should ask you to sign up if you don't already Identity have an account confirmed. so everyone can partake if they want to sign up for discord so yeah that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video and say bye bye to dog meat oh He's such a good boy, even though you won't stay in your dog house. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.